All right, hello, new video. Just gonna go with some crafting. Um, still continue this build. I'm using a banner charm now. This one with elusive. And still the same effect of marks, no crit, suppression. But at the moment, I kind of want to switch to Nimbus, or at least try it out. With this, I can drop a Return Proch, which just on its own will give me like 60% more damage on Return Projectiles, which is massive. And then if I go in like slower proj on this, I can kind of fix my AoE uh, overlapping issues. And it gives me like 20% more damage on its own as well. But the main issue is I lose chaos. So at the moment, with the rank, I'm capped 90%. So I don't need any more. But with this one, I'm only at 29. And I've been looking at ways to get more. I could use Amethyst, maybe Progenesis. But it's, it's not that great in bosses. You don't want to be caught. You don't want to be caught with 29% chaos rest. If you if you run like reduced flash charges or something. Check this. This is 34. By the way, and with Nimbus, I was thinking maybe I could go Mage Blood as well. I can obviously afford it. It's not a problem. I'm up. up two mirrors, 200 diff. And a bunch of crap I still need to sell off. Surrender gloves. Failed chest craft. But anyway, what we're gonna do is try and craft these. So I've got one scale. It doesn't matter really too much which base you get. They're only within like 20 or 40 variants of armor evasion. But you want armor and evasion base, or at least evasion to get your 15% suppression from this mastery. So, what we're going to do, get a base, this costs about 2 diff, costed me, one scale, yeah, you can get one for about 1 diff, if you don't want to spend too much, 34 to 3.5, not too expensive, the expensive part will be crafting it, so I'm going to hit with some perfects, hopefully get something usable, if not, we're just gonna sell. Yeah, whatever. Uh, we'll sell, and I'll just get twenty percent from June later on. Doesn't matter that much. Again, this is Hydro Scale. I think it's slightly better base. But one oh six, one to two. Yeah, you literally get like ten, twenty percent more armor, and there's a good chance I won't even hit a good base prefix anyway. So what we're gonna use. Definitely get some zeal. They're about 15 to a diff, 13, 14. Yeah. And what we're looking for is uh, suppression on the last mod. Now, I don't actually need that much because I can get a better suppression on this. At the moment, it's nine, but I think it can go up to like 15, is it? Yeah, so these are about 20 diff, nothing crazy. But I can get additional like four percent of this, meaning I can drop quite a bit off of this. So if we get like T three, we can pretty much settle on that. Uh, <laughs> kind of hate to see like T one Dex T one first. Oh jeez. Really? Hmm. I'm debating. Nah, fuck it. You could probably just sell these, honestly. Uh, craft life. Or maybe John prefix. Anyway. We're crafting for ourselves today, so. We'll get something decent. Um, and I will slam. It's 10c. The essence is 15. So it's literally. It should be worth slamming the last suffix. Nope. 
T1 suppression. There we go. Let me just check the odds. Also. DND file. Uh, if we go to Craft of Exile. Lovely site. You shall be using it if you're not. So that's a one in two hundred and nine. Oh, that's for an exo. Let's just check the essence. Essence of zeal. A one in eighty-five. So it's kind of lucky, I guess. But anyway, we have some spare zeals. Always good to have them. Now what we're going to do? <clears throat> we've got lucky, and we have. A spare prefix, but if you weren't, what you'd want to do is go in here, find your Eldritch Annulment. Searing is dominant, remove a prefix. So just apply a random crappy prefix, a random searing, and just annul off a prefix. Now, what I do want on these is the plus two AoE and some life, ideally. So, I'm not gonna join these aren't it, really. And the reason I'm going plus two is for my auras. So I've got my wrath, purity of fire, and grace in there. These all get plus two, which is nice. Purity of fire is the main one, because if you get a 21 plus two, it becomes a 25, giving you an extra max fire ass. Um, if you had some other source of plus AoE or spell, maybe like a corruption, you could probably drop the plus two, but that's, yeah, it doesn't matter. Suffix is going to be changed. I'm just going to veil it. That's nice and clean. Now, in terms of blocking, what we want to do is block a veiled prefix that we don't want to hit. In this case, I'm pretty sure it's the conversion. But again, craft of exile. We can have a look, see what's best. So we are going for plus two AoE. We have a thirty percent chance without a block, and if we block conversion, which has forty percent, just have a block. Yeah. So if we block any conversion, our plus two AoE becomes thirty-four percent chance. I want to just make sure they don't share any groups. Um, no, none of them share the same group tag. And by the group tag, there's a, a purple number in Craft of Exile. What they basically do is a somewhat share the same pool. So we can kind of block a lot more things that way. Hello. Anyway, we have about one and four. And we fail, obviously. Not unexpected, unfortunately. So what we do? Let's just go again. So if it's going to change, we failed. We do a Add one of these. We do convert. So, uh, we can just go from here. This is less random than we would like, but sufficient. Exile. 
Strachan. Well, that's a gun. So this is kind of a change. Well, now that's kind of bad. Let's unveil it anyway. Of course it hits plus two. Classic. But now, <laughs> now I have to risk it. Uh, go for an ulse. We pop in a searing and hope it doesn't lead plus two. It's that easy. We go again. It's clean. Try to convert. Uh, plus two, just like that. Nice and clean. Now, what we can do is just craft on the last one, which will be life for me. 70. Nice. Um, I could do with a divine. Do I want to? Yeah, okay. What else am I going to spend these on? 18. 18, 14, 10. There we go. Pricey, but it's, yeah, it's probably, probably worth it. And let's just recraft this life. Two. Come on. 70. I've already got my sockets fixed. We're at 122, so we literally dropped 10 armor innovation. And this one, no, it didn't have, yeah, it's 10 armor innovation. So yeah, don't worry too much about the base, uh, it's it's fine. Yeah, that's whatever. Uh, let's price check this, see if there's any on the market. I suspect there will be. There is one, variety to buy. We spent. Two dev on the base. I had some perfect fossils, but ideally you would hit like 20 or 30 of those. So let's say a div on that as well. So that's three. We got, I got 10 div essences. I used, I used 42. So that's what three divs let's say so that's six we recrafted suffixes three times so that's another six or so twelve yeah so twelve div craft for what's on the market for eighty at the moment obviously you can just make these for profit if you want but I plan on using it myself now what I need I don't care about these anymore this can go um, what I want is a nearby non val skill strikes to our enemies, which is a searing exquisite mode. Yep, mode exquisite mod. Uh, so if we mm, strike grounds, this one is fairly rare. You can sell on attack speed. Uh, it's probably what I would use on the bossing version of this. I'm not going to use those. Um, which is fine. Rage is also fine. Uh, but I do want strikes. Just because it makes uh, mapping damage easier. How many do I have? 30. Hopefully, I can hit that and I don't have to. More of them. There is. I'll do. So, now what I want is a. Uh, this was a greater. If I give it grand for now. And see if it upgrades. It does. Let me get some exceptionals. I don't have any. Uh, exotic exceptional icon. Uh, 
Two to a div. What a scan. Yeah, that was another a div or so. Yeah, I think they're about one and eighty, more or less. Uh, oh, hold on. Giving too much. Back to ten. Thank you. I shouldn't need that many. It's just for the sake of not having any. I'll just buy to have some spare. So now that's exceptional. We hit with comfort again. That's exceptional. And now the biggest gamble. It's a 50-50. We fail. Back to this one. And exquisite. Now we have two nearby strikes. Cool. All that's left to do is craft a eater. Implicit. I'm using exposure at the moment. Um, it's okay. We are Omni. We don't really need extra penetration. Uh, about 1100. Which gives us, where is it, offense? Yeah, about 87 pen. This is enough for pretty much any non-pinnacle uber boss. So add in another 13. Mm, it's okay. I don't think there's that many choices in terms of what to have on this. You could put more suppression. I think I've seen people do that. Pierce is useless for us. It's good for lightning strike though. So if you were crafting, I would probably sell on Pierce. Because they would want that. But they don't need two nearby strikes. Okay, let's try and hit something. Accuracy is something that you can craft early on. If you're like on a budget, you're going to show with accuracy. So you can just get this on the gloves as well. Um, unique enemy minus res. This is fine for bosses. But let's skip over that for now. Effective marks. Yeah, that'll do as well. That might actually be better than the cold. Uh, we can blast these up. So you hold alt. You can see this one has a range. So 10, 11. And I would say these are done. Yeah. Again, took us under 20 divs. I did buy a lot of... Yeah, I only need a, a dip of those. But yeah, very nice, very easy. You can craft these. You can make a lot of money from that. Um, I did have a few people whisper me in game, uh, asking how I make my money and stuff like that, what the build does. Um, most of it came from SRS and Tony Shop players. Uh, but yeah, one thing you can do is fast crafting. This is always profitable at all stages of the league, maybe apart from my first few days. Um, do I have a lot of this? Uh, I can show you. Uh, yeah, I can show you real quick. So if we grab a silvers, always uh, most desirable because it's the easiest way to get onslaught perma onslaught on the mage plot. What we do? We grab a flask, eighty three and above. Eighty five is ideal, but we don't care too much about the uh, suffix. Uh, if we, oh, public. And what you want to do is basically slam or increase the effect. Uh, if you're profit crafting properly, you would probably stop at some of these uh, just because they can't sell. And flasks are easy to get and cheap to buy, even if you want to. But yeah, say something like this increase the effect. We do not care about duration or the tier of the prefix. Just an all to save time. Fail. Eleven. That might be good enough actually. Let's just see. And then you want to use Enkindling to get effect above 65 outside. And uh, just because people will sell on the lowest one. So you wanna spend extra a couple and get a higher percentage. It'll just make it selling it that much easier. And boom, we spend what? 20 alts, 
expand on two and alls as someone can link to divine flask like that it's not even a perfect one it's 11 movement speed it's it's just that easy i'm gonna listen for one div but yeah this is what you would actually go for uh if you hit a null or alt into just a prefix you would then just craft regen three percent life and you're done no quality no nothing um another one that you might want to craft is reduced mana cost this one sells and rarity sells but only on the gold flasks and that's where people want it do i have any to show i don't and i'm usually crafting quicksilvers which sell for less but still fine diamonds always sell uh, i sold all of my onslaught uh, silver flasks uh quartz probably won't sell but I'll just stuck in there jade is fine and granite is fine as well as topaz and ruby i wouldn't craft sapphire just because people will be using uh taste of hate and amethyst they'll probably be using progenesis as well if they can afford the mage blood they can probably afford the progenesis so that's that's the logic behind that and ruby is the um, it's one of the flasks that most people will not run a dying sun just because it's hard to uh, get charges it sucks for bossing unless you have the increased charges or there's some kind of way to generate the charges during the fight so people will prefer to run just a ruby for the damage 20% uh, less fire damage shaken rather than something like a dying sun and with mage blood you wouldn't run multiple uh, unique flasks you want to run your four utility magic and one unique, which will typically be a progenesis or taste of hate if they're a bolt build and they don't need survival. Uh, anyway, these gloves are done. What we can do, just exalt them. Uh, just trying to think. No, I mean, we could block. But even if it hits mana, that's fine. We T1 fire to attacks, which is GG, pretty much. We are a fire attack build. Um, that's nice. Um, but yeah, let's put this in. See where this gets us. Is that all of them? missing one. There is. This puts me at 124. We pop in a Nemesis. Almost 68. I forget what the attribute one. 63. Um. Okay. Almost. Can I get? Mm -hmm. I could. I could get chaos on these. Um. I'm not gonna craft the chest. That's a pain in the ass. Prefixes are kind of hard to hit. Uh, no, I can't drop too many attributes. Um, okay. I need to get a mage blood. That should be enough. But yeah, I'll, I'll stop it here. Um, I might make another video. I'll probably try and swap to Nimus mage blood setup. Problem with this one is it gives us a lot. That's the main issue. It gives us 15% max life, 10% omni, onslaught, 45, and like 20% more damage. So we have about 26k. Um, what you call it? Armor invasion. So this gives us 130. Yeah, 130% increased damage, I think. Which, because of how many auras we're running, a lot of this is more scaling. So having more flat and increase is is the way to go. Actually, just kill this 48. Yeah, that flat fire is doing quite a lot for us. 
but that's not unexpected. <clears throat> anyway, I'll stop here. That was just a quick video on how to craft some decent gloves on a budget. Again, 10D craft cost, more or less. Uh, for like, what, 80 diff? Well, good luck on the slam. This is like 150, I would say. But the problem with these, the melee, they're kind of odd. You you might not sell for ages. So I wouldn't I wouldn't go out and make ten of these just because they're not very liquid. Uh, I can list mine, see if they sell. I should post it in a different video. Anyway, I'm saying this third time now. This time for real. I'll see you later. If you have a question, just pop me a message in the game or something. I'll put a comment and I'll get to you. Good luck. Almost 99. This build just doesn't die. It's very good. See you later.